Doma High Tea Challenge is about bringing the tea back into high tea. Today, we careful effort has been made to respect the traditions and etiquettes of high tea. At the same time, we want to have a Kiwi spin on things, on the food, the beverages, and the setting before you. The whole idea of our afternoon tea was to be very classical English, but with a very modern twist. Our theme today is basically a fusion of New Zealand culture, incorporating Dilma teas and the Pacific Islands, what New Zealand is all about. Chef Burnduba has been on this real high tea journey from 2007, so I couldn't ask for a better reference judge and of course being a WAC certified judge, he brings that level of professionalism, the standards that WAX has brought to the real high tea challenge in taking it into a global championship. All my five senses were, were turned on, that's what it's all about. It's an art to do that, but yeah, you got there. The Dilma High Tea Challenge came about in 2007. Um, we want to put back into the high tea, real tea. Dilma has reinvented the whole concept and have brought good tea, the world's best tea, with great varieties um, into the high tea. And to match the tea with the foods, and actually have tea-infused food uh, as well. Peter Kurovita, everybody knows Peter. So our goal is to re-establish the, the beauty of tea and also um, the reason for having a high tea. New Zealand was really unique. Firstly, the setting. We're in a beautiful place. And I loved people bringing in the island theme. People were celebrating tapo and different parts of New Zealand. So it was a real New Zealand pride, really. It was great to see. What we were looking for in, the, in this competition, number one was, was brewing the perfect cup of tea. And it's a lot harder than you'd think. There's a lot that goes into it. You need to stir it a few times. You need to make sure you cover it and look after it. Um, but on top of that, the tea needed to be made into a cocktail, a mocktail. And then we needed to have a hot tea and a cold tea. Plus, we needed to have tea infused into food and tea paired with the food. Because of where we actually uh, originate from here at the Heritage, we were one of the first um, places in Auckland to ever create high tea and we served it up in our grand tea room in the early 1920s, uh, the first sky rise building in Auckland uh, with a big fancy tea room where they first started basically serving high tea in Auckland and New Zealand. Taking it back to its roots, back from where it began, I don't know, in 1920, it wasn't more about the English breakfast back then, it was more about Earl Grey, uh, which we have put into our, um, our presentation today. Would you like sparkling or So one of the first things that we'd like uh, you to try is the uh, Mandarin tart in a raw uh, base of a tart. The idea behind uh, the raw cooking is what we're trying to do is keep the, um, the vitamins, enzymes, everything in it. The photo that we have uh, placed on the table in front of you was actually taken from our grand tea room in 1933. I thought we'd start you off with your alcoholic cocktail. Uh, I've made this cocktail with the lemongrass and lemon green tea. I had a lot of fun experimenting and mm -hmm. I concocted some very interesting flavours over the last few weeks leading up until my, my final choice of teas. So I brewed the green tea uh, using 100 degree uh, Celsius water for uh, two minutes, no more. Um, I doubled the amount of water and used two tea bags just to give it a real, real zing. What we used is a brioche dough to encircle it and then of course we deep fried it at a very low heat and then topped it with uh, some cinnamon sugar and some olive dehydrated to just give that saltiness to the sweetness. Uh, we were we were hell nervous beforehand, weren't we? <laughs> um, but no, the, the judges had uh, a, a lot of really good insight, um, especially on you know what we were trying to create with our um, the heritage and the originating of the high tea, which they they got with the with the decor and everything that we were trying to do. 50% uh, of uh, this cocktail is Earl Grey tea. Uh, which I blended at 95 degrees Celsius for about three and a half minutes. Um, and also mixed in with some rose with French vanilla. Back in the 1930s, uh, the traditional black tea that they would drink with high tea was uh, Earl Grey. It was, it was more Earl Grey then than it was English breakfast. So I tried to fit that in somewhere amongst my presentation. The table setting is really nice. Your themes. Good. The lemon drink was uh, 
was really refreshing. The mandarin tart was beautiful, the raw tart case was really nice, had a good rich, you know, it was like you just mixed mandarin with egg yolks, sort of, it was, it was nice though, it was a great flavour. Almond tea and the coconut matched the best, it was a, it was a nice combination, it, something unusual I wouldn't really expect, but it went, it went really nicely. So, Nice, a nice balance. I really liked that one. Yeah, it was, it was different. Obviously, this was the first time for us entering in the high tea challenge here in New Zealand, so um, it gave us a lot of insight as to what to look forward and what to plan for next year. So the medal goes to NZ8, a bronze. Yes. The idea of this Real High Tea Challenge is that it is a journey, a journey in terms of their awareness and understanding of tea, opening up the options. And so in stage one, which we have just completed, I think we can be satisfied that we have really achieved a very high standard of excellence.